now what we need to do is to plot it plot the results as the training goes and to do so we will um, write it this way if i modulus about over 5000 because we will uh, plot it every 5000 step uh, equal equal of course zero what we will do we will plot the first thing is u equal pin and we will use not the domain point but we want a smooth plot now this is going to be inference we will use the one we used before in here which is t test we defined in the past just from zero to one and we have a 300 points we will use this guy t test let's let's take the whole thing here and use it utilize this code let's put it in oh put it okay i'll put it here and later we'll use part of it so t test is going to be input so t test is going to be here and basically this is going to be our uh, computation now this is going it will rec it will have a gra grad gradient so what we need to to do is to detach it so dot detach and we will put it in here so now we have the values of u so we need to plot it and to do so we will just have a figure and we will plot first the exact solution which is the same as we did before we already computed the exact solution but here just to make it a little bit more easy to see so label will have in here we will call it exact solution and we will color equals red red so this is going to be the our exact solution and later what we need to do is or now what we need to do is to put the other solution which is the pins solution so this is physics informed neural networks is our network solution is going to be blue so yeah that's it but we need just a little bit plt dot legend legend and plt dot show so what's going to happen here every 5000 steps we are going to basically plot everything if you want to see the losses you can just simply put it in here as well print every 5000 just print the losses and then continue and shift enter and we wait a little bit now this just these things to avoid confusion or as it trains we will just remove these things these are just trying to show or to explain something i don't want to include it here i will just put it as like just remove it and here what you can see is at the beginning the network is completely clueless she doesn't know what or it doesn't know what what it's uh, what it's doing and you can see that uh, this is the exact solution and this is the pin solution is very far after 10,000 steps, why it's keep printing? Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. We put here print statements. Like you can see the squeeze. So this is U is like this. And when you squeeze it, it will become a number. So just that's what I did. So just let's remove this thing. It's a little bit annoying to have here too many prints. 40,000 actually prints going to appear is just not so practical so just remove prints 
Yeah. Okay, let's run it. But uh, this is already running from after some training, but I want to just stop everything. This means this guy here, this means it will update, like st start running from the beginning and restart everything. So here, because uh, we, we need to see the, how the network starts to, to learn. So what's happening now? Starting, as we said, it's clueless, doesn't know much. And you can see that starting the training, optimizer grade, uh, grade equals zero. You will have, uh, we initialize some lambdas. We will calculate the loss at the first, uh, the initial condition of uh, u equals one, and then calculate the loss at um, initial condition equals zero. But uh, sorry, equal zero. Yes, uh, at uh, for the speed, which is will equal zero, and here physics loss that will follow the equation, in which we took this mean of the whole uh, points, and we put it in loss three, and we balance these losses using these lambda one and lambda two, and basically this loss is going to be back propagated, and the optimizer will be always stepped. We start. Network doesn't know much. Uh, you can see here the losses here here this is high this is not so high number this is um also like very bad actually start and then after like one only 5000 steps you will have this the loss goes down you can see the network a little bit different but not so much and then 10000 steps you have a uh, basically make it bigger okay you will so first five uh, verse step five thousand step ten thousand steps you can see the network start to kind of understand or make this um, parameters to follow these losses and actually we didn't tell you we didn't tell the network what is the final solution it's it's knowing the final solution from its like computation following the physics, following the initial conditions. We did, didn't know anything about the system except the initial condition and the equation itself. Now, here you can see it's now following better, more steps following better, more better, here better. And I think this is the final one. Yeah, it's the final one. At 40,000 step, you can see it is following quite well. Some here, maybe more training or tweaking with the loss equations, we can get a better solution. With that, we have now a network. Congratulations, that can actually inference this uh, points. And as you can see here, uh, if you, for example, if you took this thing, just take this thing, and see the inference time of course the most of the most of the time goes into training if you take these uh, points of course just we can plot them here you can see here the network is actually uh, doing this uh, inferencing in a very quick time so this is the actual inference time so inferencing will which getting the results from the network is quite fast because we'll take this uh, number the t test these uh, uh, array we pass it into pen and we will get the number of u very quickly the training process took time but if we have a trained network that means it can solve the uh, problem in a very quick time and uh, of course if we want that we need a network that uh, that that is a kind of um, trained on multiple um, initial condition boundary uh, or initial in this case initial condition and different let's say parameters of this uh, system and if the network is trained well on many conditions it will provide us the name the number we need in a very quick manner with that we finished next time we will uh, change the loss and see how what how what is the effect on this network and um, and of course we will also uh, try to change some let's say the architecture of neural network and see how the training time also get affected so thank you very much and see you next week